Unlocking the meaning of adopt a resolution. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that often pops up in formal contexts, especially within organizations and governments. We're talking about adopt a resolution. Stick around to uncover what it means, how it's used, and why it's important to know. Let's get started. When we say an organization or governing body adopts a resolution, we're talking about a formal decision or stance that's been agreed upon after a vote. Think of a resolution as a formal statement of intent or action. To adopt this resolution means that the members or participants have discussed, possibly debated, and ultimately agree that this resolution reflects their collective decision or opinion. The journey of a resolution from proposal to adoption can be quite interesting. Here's a brief overview. 1. Drafting. First, a resolution is drafted. This means someone writes up the proposal, outlining the issue and the suggested stance or action. 2. Presentation. The draft is then presented to the governing body or organization. 3. Discussion and debate. Members discuss and debate the merits and potential impacts of the resolution. 4. Amendment. Sometimes, the original proposal is modified or amended based on feedback. 5. Voting. Finally, a vote is taken. If the majority supports the resolution, it is said to be adopted. Understanding the phrase, adopt a resolution, is crucial for several reasons. Civic awareness. It helps you understand how decisions are made within organizations and governments. Professional knowledge. In a professional setting, knowing how resolutions work can help you navigate corporate or organizational environments more effectively. Language proficiency. For English language learners, mastering such phrases enriches your vocabulary and improves your comprehension of formal English used in official contexts. And there you have it, a deeper look into what it means to adopt a resolution. Whether you're following international diplomacy, participating in a student council, or working within a professional organization, understanding this process and the terminology used is incredibly valuable. We hope this video has shed some light on the subject and enhanced your English language skills. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.